Okay, is everybody happy? On a Sunday afternoon here on the alldognetwork.com Wolf Driver coming at you live. Wolf Driver on Facebook Live. Um, I'm Wolf Diddy here this afternoon. We're just grooving on the groove into the thing here for our dogs and the love of music and dogs. That's right. We're going to have a, uh, a little condensed time tonight because the World Series is coming on here and all these ball games are on so I know a lot of people are watching sports. Hi Debbie. Glad you joined us. Um, so we're just going to go uh, through a couple of things uh, briefly and then get back to our longer episodes of chat time next week when the series is over and everything. Um, I'm looking at our viewing population has gone down a little bit in the last week or so for a couple of reasons, um, you know, the sports and games and playoffs and all these things. That's one thing, you know, election and all that hyperactivity out there on the media. I'm doing good, thank you, Deborah Trainer. So we're just jumping and jamming in here. We're going to talk about a few things. I'm going to show you one of Wolf Driver's videos, um, a rap video from the East Coast rap video that we've never looked before. And these are kind of difficult to find on the internet unless you really take your time and go through wolftunes.com and, and YouTube and Wolf Driver everywhere and to see what's out there. There's so much material to check out. Hello Mimi. Tammy Allen, hello from Mississippi. Good to see you. That's right. So we're talking about tonight, I'm going to run down about 25 of the top breeds that are the, the ones that shed the leash, the least, because, you know, I know in our house, uh, even though you can't see Buster with his short hair, um, shedding, but it's, when you do the carpets, you know, it's, there's tons of it in there. So I try to do that quite often home machine that works real well, a little bristle, and get that out of there, because it makes you sneeze and everything else with the dander and stuff, no matter how clean you keep it. Here at work too late, I'll be back on then. Yeah, I probably won't be on too long, uh, by then, you might have to review. We're going to let the World Series, it's coming on pretty, I don't know, probably 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. But we're going to talk about the top 25 dog breeds that she is shed the least. And um, let's just get into that right now. I'm going to put some nice, quiet, relaxing music on so we can do such. And uh, just relax if your pooch is by your side. And uh, it's funny, I was watching one of the football games just now, the end of it. It's a great game. Buster just crawled right back up there next to me watching with me. It's hilarious. Wife comes by and goes, The boys are watching football. <laughs> Buster's a good boy. And I we love our dog so much. I mean it's kind of scary I mean, when you think about how much you pay attention. But uh, that's what they are for, and that's why they are well. Watch either way, Mimi good. Hi from Atlanta, Olivia. Atlanta just just came out of that game just now. Unbelievable. What a great game. Wolf dreams. Incredible. Those players are unbelievable. So we look at uh, look at this list here. We're just gonna go back through this and I'm gonna do a video on some rap and roll, which is fun. Rap and roll with the wolf driver with the huskies and this young uh, young fellow that uh, is doing this rap from the east coast where the wolf driver resides pretty cool little thing I think something different because usually I'm not really so into rap but I've done a bunch out here for the thing I haven't played any of those yet I'll find those and play some of those too but this is the fellow that's on the east coast we have east coast rap about the dogs and west coast rap different okay Chinese Sharpay comes in at 25 
of Chinese Sharpay. Now, hey Buster, Buster's uh, in there. Yeah, I'll tell for him. He's in there chilling, cooking. There's that Chinese Sharpay. Uh, there was one in my family here for a while, an uh, ex-family, you might say. And, uh, not the best looking pooch, but very sweet. Ran into some medical problems. But that's the least shutter there. And then uh, I have to make some moves here to make this happen. And we come in number uh, 24 there. With the Airedale Terrier. Least shedding. You would know that just by looking at it. Portuguese water dog comes in at 23. Least to shed. Least to shed. Ah, uh, yes, this uh, soft coated wheat and terrier. Our dear friends Grace and Ron have this, have this particular breed. Bentley is his name. He looks like a Bentley too. This light here. But he likes to wear this one. You know, it's a, it's a shame. I have the same shirt because, and they are clean. I have several. And it's our logo shirt for the show. It's the Wolf Driver um, logo. It's called Subluminated onto a beautiful shirt. They're for sale, actually, and I can show you where you can get those. Then we have our uh, Bull Mastiff, number 21, Le Least Shedding Dogs. Oh, and then, of course, a Bichon Frise, Cutie Pie, Least Shedding, that comes in at 20. At 19, with the Papillion, Least Shedding. A Rhodesian Ridgeback sheds least, number 18. Shedding less is the West Highland White Terrier. And then we've got the uh, Visia, Visia, Gun Dog. Then we got the Little Maltese. The least shedding pooches, number 15. Number 14, an English Springer Spaniel. Wolf dreams. They're hunters and companions. Least shedding. A Brittany. Bred as hunters as well. Least shedding pooches is what we're showing here. In order of uh, a pole. A mastiff. Buster's half Italian mastiff or cane corso, but he still sheds because he's got the shepherd hair on his other half. Shells there. Hello, Shirley Sickle. Hi, Debbie. Hi. I'm trying to keep track of this. I'm looking. Chihuahua, of course, comes in at 11. Boston Terrier at 10. Shih Tzu, number nine. Least shedding. Eight miniature Schnauzer. Schnauzer. At uh, eight. At seven, the Doberman Pinscher. Six, the German short-haired pointer. Number five, a Rottweiler. Now I've got those chains. <laughs> I don't like those chain things. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Then we got our uh, French bulldog coming in at number four. Our boxer at number three. Least shedding pooches. And a poodle number two. Really, if you shave it. And number one, I wonder what it could be, the less of the shedding breeds. A Yorkshire Terrier? Really? Wolf dreams. So there you go. Now, I wouldn't have guessed those in that order by any means. But hey, that's what the hair does, Maria Redman. So once again, the... If anybody's interested in these uh, shirts, 
and anything else we have the bike springers we've got uh, very cool harness and leashes that are very state-of-the-art as far as safe last forever I have the man mat little reflector on it very high-end I use it for the uh, to run him you know, use it when I walk him run him and uh, harness and uh, there's no choking no <coughs> and uh, I use it well on the bike springer and it's in the car. I just wrap the seatbelt and cook up the uh, thing there. And put it around the seatbelt with the leash connected to the top of the harness for safety. So I need a separate seatbelt. That is a seatbelt. Uh, it says I'm live, although I'm not finding this on here. So y'all that are interested in any kind of uh, paraphernalia that we have here, good paraphernalia, dog stuff, you can go to a couple places, Wolf Tracks Store, and this is all auto checkout with your PayPal, Visa, whatever, cart, just like everything, Amazon or anywhere else you shop, um, Wolf Tracks Store dot my big commerce, it's a long one. I'll write this down for the future. Just check what's on there. And the stuff that we'll be adding. You can also get the bike springer there. And we ship it right out to you. Just uh, take care of business. We're not Petco. We're not huge. We just have the right stuff. Uh, which we believe is the right stuff. At very reasonable prices. And it's basically almost at cost to you. We're not... This isn't like money making thing here. This is just certain accessories for the love of your dog. And then you can go to dogbestfriendforever.org. It also has the shirts at least. Other shirts and other logos. And I've been putting on this almost every night for new viewers that have never seen this before. So you get your head around who we are, what we're doing. Wolf Driver is also a black belt artist, uh, martial artist, Wolf Dreams. in Taekwondo, and uh, done some very interesting musical tracks, workout tracks for exercise and doing those kind of moves that you just got to listen to it. I just posted all this stuff. Go check it out listen to some of this stuff it's just fun to listen to if nothing else if you want to dance it's dance music it's workout music it's got lyrics it's got fun stuff about the dogs it's got chants it's got the Japanese um, shouts in Japanese of all the moves kicks and moves and strokes and front kick side kick head kick axe kick all that stuff in Japanese as long as the English as well very cool throughout the tracks so it's a whole nother diversion from the dogs but still all about inspirational um, meditative healthy exercise how to, how to be how to take care of yourself if you can and you know to me when you exercise you don't have to be fancy dancy and like lifting all this stuff you just do a little whatever works for you that's why they got a million different machines in there just do a little bit and don't kill yourself doing it. And I guarantee you, if you just do a little bit every day, that's the key. Just like you walk your dog every day. And by the way, as I said, I walk for the dog. Okay, this is an app that's free. Free app. It's called Walk for a Dog. Okay, you can find that at the uh, Apple Store or Android or Google Play. You can also go to this website here, wolftracks.com and read all about it and download it from there for that matter. It's a free app. And it's self-explanatory. You can load and picture your dog, your information through your email, and it's got a GPS connected. You allow your notification or you allow your uh, map on your phone or your whatever your iPad 
to uh, allow your location so then it tracks where you are and sends that information to uh, a server and they pay four times a year to the shelter of your choice which you can pick from inside the app because it knows your location where the shelters are and what the names of them are of who you're walking for and that donation for every mile you walk there's money being collected and reserved and every once four times a year once a quarter they'll send a check to that um, shelter or rescue center that you've designated on the app and the, they get this money and it's free money it's free for you to use it it's a free app everything's free and it's just the investors are donating like charity uh, in behalf of the shelters by utilizing this app in a way to like uh, justify the investment of how much they're going to actually pay out so there's thousands and thousands of people using this thing out here in California and LA and everywhere and it's amazing what's going on. I use mine every day with Buster. I've been doing it since we got it we got it done about four years ago now, it seems like. And um, it's great. It's fun. And then it keeps your track of your exercise because you're how average miles per hour you walked or ran or, you know, skateboarded or skied or I use the bike springer on the bike. We go about a mile, mile and a half within 10 to 15 minutes every day. Average mile per hour, four to five miles an hour. And GPS is the route, just like a Google map of exactly where you went, exactly where you are. Shows your uh, tracking. And you can go back and look at your exercise. It keeps it there last month, last six months, last week. And keep track of what you're doing. And when you miss a day or what time, and it says what time you went out and how long you were out. It's all, all real time. And it's fair, you get a habit of using it. Because I know when y'all go out walking your dog, you got, or riding or whatever you do, you can't use it in a car, obviously, because those aren't miles where you're exercising. So it knows you're going too fast if you're in a car. Um, yeah, you've used the app, Rochelle. Great. It's a great app. And it's it works. And um, you, know, you could even, if you had some business you want to advertise related to dogs or not related to whatever, you could call up and we can get you hooked up and pay for your advertising on that app. I mean, it's starting to grow. You'll see different little things come on there when you're closing it out you say stop walking so forth you can check it all out okay so that's the walk for a dog app a very handy tool and very uh, progressive as far as its willingness to contribute at no expense to us as users for anything including the app to the shelters of your choice so you know, these guys are getting these checks, and some of them are pretty huge. And the big picture is free money for them. And they go, wow, we can uh, meet another quota this month and house X amount of more rescues. Or we can, you know, get a, build, uh, get a new, set, new set of cages and hire another attendant to work here to take care of more um, animals, you know, dogs and cats and so whatever, until we find them homes and give them a shot. So there's really no reason not to spread the word on this to everybody you can think of that has a dog they walk or whatever. Some people walk their cats, all I know. You know? You could use it when you took, even though you're not walking your cat, if you had your cat in a basket and your bike and you're riding your bike, that'll work taking care of business it's no cost to you just a little bit of uh, effort to, to download it because I know you're taking your phone with you everywhere you go I mean most people are all but swallowing their phones now that's how they're always doing something with it no matter what and I, I know a bunch of old people say they would never do it thought it was obnoxious guess what they're doing it more than the kids are doing so it's an addiction whatever the reason I try to calm mine, but, you know, that's what we do. Well, it, oh, there's another text message. Oh, there's more email. Shoot, is somebody trying to get in touch with me right now? I don't know. But this is a great way to use it, too. So, that's what we want to do. Walk for a dog. Please walk for a dog. And if you share it with everybody, your shelters all over the world, wherever you live, are going to be getting these checks. I don't care how small they are, it's better than nothing, okay?
Uh, I tried to walk my cat. I mean, he was. I mean, of course, Huskies love it. That's hilarious. But you know, my, my you get my drift on how to use it and uh, make it work for the shelter of your choice and for yourself to keep track. You know, also say, oh, gee, I got to exercise now. I better take my dog out now. You know, I mean, to, and go out. You know, when you can go out, when it's cool, if you can. You know, early morning, evening, whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. So that's where we are with that. So we're good. Okay, now I want to share this before it gets too late for the game for everybody to start watching this last game, which may be the case tonight, unless the Cubbies can pull it off. But uh, we're going to sh take a shout at this here. This is called Rap and Roll on the Trail. Okay, so let me. Uh, Go bye bye to Wolf Dreams right now. Wake up. We're sleeping on Wolf Dreams. Here's our tracks I've been looking at on Wolf Tunes that I play. There's all these beautiful tracks you can play. Uh, the <clears throat> the back end is SoundCloud, as you can see, and there's these beautiful little logos that the Wolf Driver has done handmade himself. Uh, on all the material that you'll see on Wolf Tunes and everywhere else, you'll see these album cover style, CD cover style logos with beautiful artwork that he's created himself. Pretty, pretty amazing. Here we go. Let's rock and roll for a minute. that little rap there the grizzly wolf chronicles the grizzly wolf grizzly wolf uh you want a cart like that yeah the sacco carts um they they can be had you gotta have some uh money and uh, I'm not judging who has money and who doesn't but they're they're hand built uh, the fellows up in Utah and there is actually a video um, let's see there's a video of him showing how he built one of the wolf drivers he has like several I don't know how many three or four 
uh, Sacco dog cart. That's S A C C O. Let's see if I can find that. Well, yeah, here's one where um, the fellow who built it is actually doing a walk around, I think. Machine cart. Uh, let's take a look at this and just see what it says. Here. Basically, what it says is uh, they're made in the USA for the ultimate dry land mushing cart. Originally, Sacco was designed in, Norm in Norway for uh, mushing on dry land in the summer months. The new Sacco USA division takes the Sacco cart to the next level by refining the cart for improved performance, handling, and control while keeping it simple for the beginner musher in mind. That's interesting. Um, I'm going to go to the website. Can't find the website. That's nice. But anyway, that's what the Sacco card. So they're, they're, they're obtainable now. How much they are, um, that one I don't know. Uh, the Wolf Driver has some that are more elaborate than others. He's got them battery powered, pedal powered, um, with all kinds of other hookups on it, you know. For the four dogs, the four bike springers, uh, like you've seen. Um, it's time to try. You see what these are? That wasn't, this one doesn't look too complicated. this particular video in double time obviously but that's yeah we know what it looks like yeah there's his four carts he's got that on super speed here so we'll uh, uh here's one here is interesting looking little buggy there's just one pooch on the front and one on the side. So, and uh, mushing the track here. Let's see what that looks like. Good, Kim. Thank you. And you see how he's got that set up. And his pedals. See the bike springers hooked to the top harness. There's the same exact harness I have for Buster right there, the man mat. She has that same color, everything green, the man mat. Yeah, man. 
that harness, the bike springer. Really see it. Jag and uh, Czar and Princess. That might be Princess right there. She's so sweet. That's what they look like when they're doing their thing. That's good. He's a good boy, Rochelle. He really is. I love that boy. And this is what they're doing. They're doing their uh, dry mushing. They just love it. They just go for miles and miles, these guys. It's unbelievable. Stamina. Not pant hard at all, look. Violetta? Uh, yeah, so beautiful. They're so conditioned to doing this that they can go miles and miles even without before he stops to rest amazing <laughs> Zar, Zaro they're happy back in the uh, mobile to go home to the van look at that so we shared all this stuff um, what I like about this stuff is there's so much stuff um, to share about this this whole event with the dogs, you know. You know, if it's the wolf driver stuff, yeah, but anybody's stuff, you know. Just have to point that out. And uh, so here's the other place we want everybody to join up. A, a, a group site, Wolf's Gang. And this is uh, on Facebook. Oops. Just go to Wolfgang on Facebook and uh, join up. Join, please. Post your pictures and your your pooch and your family and your kids and your family and more pooches and kitties. And get to know who you guys are, you know, what everybody looks like, how they feel. It's good. And uh, that's what the Wolf Drivers created, all these websites. Uh, my part in the deal is just basically having produced all this music. Most, you know, 99% of it. And um, with our team of musicians and singers and so forth, just to, you know, be involved with the dogs and the love of music. It's a pretty, pretty simple concept. 
And it keeps us happy, it keeps us um, young, it keeps us right with uh, the vibe and the, and the love, you know. It's a great thing, uh, you know, to be involved that much and love your pets. You know, it could be one of the most healthy, healthiest things for a human being that exists on the planet. Um, not that other things aren't, but uh, this phenomena of having the love for your dog and music, too, you know, is, is just a great thing. It keeps our mind centered on the great feeling of love. And... Uh, just keep that in mind. It's all good. Fresh water, fresh food. Keep the sleepies out of their eyes. And uh, we're basically going to jump and jam out of here uh, at this point uh, so that we go can go have some fun and uh, get our uh, pooch up on the uh, couch to uh, watch the game. Thank you all for being with us. Spread the word about everything we've talked about tonight, if you would, please. Um, the Walk for Dog app to use. It's a great free benefit for our shelters to help our rescues because we all have that feeling about we know what goes on and how important it is, okay, to extend everything until we can find homes for our, our lonely dogs and cats out there. Thank you so much. Have a good night to all of you, and we'll see you tomorrow, Monday, you know, oh, Halloween. It's okay. Maybe we'll put on a scary face. Oh, wait a minute. This is scary. See ya.